Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to do interpolation in MATLAB. So let's assume that we have we have a data set like this where the first column represents the time in seconds and the second column represents a temperature, first case whatever. Now for each time we have a different set of temperatures and now if we want to identify any value in between so then we need to use the interpolation method to calculate that so let's say we have zero seconds one seconds two seconds those are integer values now what if we want to know what happens when the time is 1.5 seconds so at that time what should be the temperature we can use interpolation methods to identify that so in this case let's ask what is the temperature at 3.6 seconds? So that temperature will be somewhere in between, but we don't know the exact value, so we will use the interpolation to calculate that. So let's go to MATLAB and see how to implement this. So I have opened a MATLAB script. Now we need to first define those variables or data sets. So the first one says time, but let's say, let's define that as x, x should be our time, and that is defined as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can define it like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But this is an inefficient way to define a series. We can, what we can do is um, we can say 0, 2, 5. So 0, colon 5 represents the same thing. This is a shortcut for that and y equals to, now this is not as uniform series, so we have to type it in, so let's say 0, 20, 60, 68, 77, 110. So this is my data set, I will put semicolon to suppress the output. Now we, we need to know what is the temperature value between 3 and 4, which is 3.6 seconds. To, to, to do that, we're going to use a command called enter one so let's see type help enter one one is for the one dimensional data and enter is the interpolation so that's the command for built-in command for the matlab so if i do that so now you can see there's a bunch of uh, commands that came here um, let's move this one a little bit and here you can see that it's a 1D interpolation. Now, if we say interp1, then x, comma v, comma a, x cubed, meaning x is the x dimensional data, x uh, direction data, y is y axis data, and the after the comma represents what data we need to know. So I want to go here where v under v sub q, which is the what point we need to uh, calculate the data. And also there's another thing called method. So now it, there, there, there are multiple methods that we can do to actually identify the interpolation. So if we go back to the interpolation definition from a statistics point of view, there are a bunch of methods where this is called linear, nearest, sp line, cubic, and so on. So here, the default is linear, and if we don't mention anything, it will execute the linear uh, interpolation and give us that value. So let's calculate the linear interpolation for now and see how does that work. So if we want to do that, um, interpolate, we'll get temperature at t equals 3.6 seconds okay so let's say we define temp temp is our 3.6 seconds temp and we, we're going to use interp one now the x-x is variable and then y-axis variable and then what is the x or t here that we want to calculate which is 3.6 if we do that and um, let's run it and see the temp actually is showing 73.4 so if you look this table 
from 3 and 4, the 3 has 68 degrees and 4 has 77. So if we do a linear reg a linear interpolation between them, that sh the, the value should be in between, which it is. So this is 73.4. And this is the interpolation answer for that. If we want to um, calculate something else, let's say um, if we want to see temp to let's say we want to see interp one x comma y what is the temperature at let's say 1.2 seconds what is the temperature at 1.2 seconds which we don't have it so the answer should be in between one and two of the temperature which is 20 and 60 so the answer should be in between 20 and 60. so if we run it the temp two shows 28 which is in between 20 and 60 and this is the interpolation value for the 1.2 seconds temperature. So that is how um, we can define interpolation and we can identify different methods. Here we have seen how to do linear interpolation in MATLAB. I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you very much for watching. That's it for now. Thank you and see you in the next.